D-Dog Dawson here, showing you how to make an origami crane, uh, in case you're wondering why the birds, well, they just happen to have followed me here. Yeah. One can't be too careful. I can show you exactly step by step how we can make this origami crane. Chew. Okay, now that we don't have any birds bothering us, I'll show you how we could make this origami bird that flaps its wings. It's pretty cool. The first thing to do is take your paper. This has to be square, and it turns out to be eight and a half inch square. I'm going to take a corner and bring it right over to the other corner. Fold the paper so we have a large triangle. Take a corner, bring it over to the other corner so we have a smaller triangle. Give it a good crease. You're going to open this up so one of these triangles stands up, the other's flat on the table. Put your fingers inside all the way down to the bottom. Take your hand and lower this paper down over your hand and pull your hand out. Line up all these corners, make sure that they're lined up and give it a really good crease. Okay, I could show you that again. It looks like this. This is standing up. Put your fingers inside, lower this down over your fingers, take your hand out, and then just flatten this just like this. Turn your paper over and then stand this triangle up. You might have to go back and forth like this until it stands up. So to remind you of a sailboat. Do the same thing. Place your fingers inside, all the way down to the table. Lower this over your hand, pull your hand out. Make sure that all these triangles are gathered together right here in a corner, and then crease it. Now this step's very important. You wanna make sure that these open ends are facing you. We're going to go to the left edge right here and we're going to bring this edge to the very center crease so it looks like this. It almost reminds me of an ice cream cone. I think of this, if I stand this up, I think of a cone. I think of ice cream sitting right on top of that cone and it's not gonna go anywhere. It's, looks, it's gonna be fine. But if you'd fold it this way, which is upside down, you could think of as the ice cream falling out and getting all over you. So I always find that to be sort of helpful. So let's go back to folding this. We'll go to the right side. We're going to bring this over so the two match. They meet right in the center, give it a good crease. And it looks like that. Sort of reminds you of a kite. Now flip it over, do the same thing on this side. Bring the left over to the center, bring the right to the center. There's our kite again. Give it a good crease. Try to match everything up the best you can. The next thing we're going to do is we need to reverse these flaps that are on the front. We need to weaken these hinges because in a little while we're going to be making what we call a reverse fold. So let's take this flap and fold it all the way to the back. I think the best way to do this is to flip it over and then just fold it to the back, crease it, and then bring it back to the front. And do the same thing on this side. We'll go to the left, we're going to flip it over, we're going to bring this to the back, and then bring it back to the front and then flip the whole thing over, do the same thing on the back. Let's take this, bring it all the way to the back, give it a good crease, and bring it back to the front. And we'll do the same thing with this one. Bring it all the way to the back, give it a good crease, and then bring it back to the front. So we should be back having two in the front and two on the other side, and it should look just like this. Take a hold of this top triangle right here and lower it down as far as it's meant to go. Let me turn it this way. So it looks just like this. Give it a good crease. Flip it over. Do the same thing. Fold it down again just like this. It should go about right there. Use your thumbnail if you have to. It's a lot stronger than your fingers. And then put it back in this position, in the kite position. We're going to open up the top flap. We're opening up the top flap right and left. And we are taking hold of the top of the paper. We're going to take the corner and we're going to lift this up as far as it's meant to go, which is 
right where this crease is that we've just created. When we pull this triangle down, we just made this crease. We're going to bring this up as far as the crease. I'll show you from this angle. We bring it up as far as the crease, and as we're lowering this down, let's pull the sides in, and it collapses because of the reverse fold, and it looks like a kayak or a canoe. All right, I'll show you that again. Looks like this. Take a hold of the top, lift it until you folds right here. It will crease right there where that fold is. As you're bringing it up, you're going to pull the sides in and you're going to lower it down like this. All right, we'll do the same thing on this side. Open this up, take a hold of the top, bring it right up to this crease where this triangle is. Looks like this. Pull the sides in. takes a moment to get this lined up. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then give it a good crease. Make sure that they one sits on top of the other. Now as you can see here we have legs. We also could take the top left and right and we can just pinch them together like this. Alright, so take these, pinch them together and then do that and then flip this over, do the same thing here, put your index finger inside, grab it with your thumb and your middle finger, just pull these together like this, and it makes a fox. Looks like a fox to me. The fox ears. So we're going to take the ear, it looks like the fox's ear, and we're going to lower it down so this angle matches up with this angle, so we're going to just spread it down so they sort of line up the same. And we'll have to squeeze it into a whole new position. So just do that. And then do the same thing on this side. You're going to have to pull this down so it lines up and you have to just squeeze it and force it into a whole new position. The next thing you're going to do is decide on which one of these looks the best to represent the neck of the bird and the head and I happen to like the way this one's folded. I think it's more accurate than this one. So I'm going to put my thumb inside and I'd say about a half inch down I'm going to fold the paper down like that, bend it down. I'm going to place it all the way inside and then squeeze it and then pull this back out and pull it up so it's horizontal and squeeze it again. It locks it into position and then the angle comes up and then over and then back down like that. And the only thing I have to do now is take this top flap and bring it towards the left where the tail is of the bird. And it's just a matter of taking this edge and lining, lining it up with this edge so it looks like this. And then flip it over. I'm going to take this and bring it over so it matches. And this is on top of the bottom wing. Again, it looks like this. This angle lines up with this angle. And it goes like that and it's just a matter now of puffing up the wings. I'm going to go to the right side of the wing, which is the back part of the wing, put my fingers inside, take my thumb and crush the paper, do the same thing on this side, put my fingers in the back part of the wing, take my thumb, crush the paper so these wings puff up. Take a hold of the bottom of the neck of the bird and then hold on to the tail and it's just a matter of pulling like this it gets the wings to flap. There's a difference from this and this. This is more like pumping you know, water from a well and this is the direction you want to pull the tail in, the same direction that it's heading and that gets the wings to flap. And there's our, either you can call it our origami crane flapping winged crane or if you want to call it a seagull you could call it that if you like but there it is